next guest has such a wealth of knowledge. We had to bring her back to educate us some more. That's right. She's the creator of House of Health by Pamela, and she is all about getting in shape the healthy way, which we're all about as well. Welcome in, Pamela. Yeah, Welcome thank back. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. I could <laughs> talk to you all day. Um, your practice focuses on women who want to feel good, want to feel good in their skin again, yeah. especially as they get older. So tell us a little bit about what you do and what progressive overload is. Mm. I just really try to educate women on the importance of weight training. And so what progressive overload is, is it is where you are gradually increasing the amount of reps and or weight that you are lifting week over week. Mm. Okay, I hadn't heard this term before. Cause I, I, I yeah, no one's ever talked to me about this. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about the benefits of this. Okay. So we started with the definition, but sure. let's talk about the benefits. We have a, a little graphic that explains it. So okay. we'll pull it up, we'll chat about it, and you can talk us through it. You say it starts with challenging your body. So the way that muscle is built yeah. is you have to constantly break down the muscle fibers. So how you do that is you have to be challenging it time after time. Mm -hmm. And so the way you do that is you start with a certain weight and then you have to increase it for the muscles to break, for the fibers to break down and then for it to rebuild by resting and eating a proper amount of protein. I like that you said rest. You that's have nice. to rest. Yeah. Because I think a lot of people forget it's just go, 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 go. And that's actually not good for you. No, I mean, because how muscle is built, that's when muscle is actually built is when you're resting it. Mm. I think I rest mine a little yeah. too much. <laughs> yes, okay, exactly. so there's some weights here. Let's walk through. Now, these are 8, 10, and 12. Okay. You at home lift way heavier than that. But just to show people at home kind of what it looks like. Sure. Explain. Okay, if do this was you. Stand up and yeah, do this. Stand just, up okay. and, oh my and goodness. All explain right. like, okay, so how does this progressive overload look? So let's say your first week you start, let's just do biceps. Okay, say your first week you start and you are doing your biceps and you can get to 12 reps mm -hmm. and you're going to do three sets of 12 reps that's how you know you should be increasing your your weight so maybe the next week you come and you can only get 10 10 reps of 10 pounds okay. on your first set maybe you can only get nine and then you can only get eight but that next week you want to see if you can get 12, 12, 12 of the 10 pounds. Like you want to keep on increasing. And then maybe after a month or so, you're able to get to 12 pounds. Okay. So you're saying you should, you know it's time to move on. Yes. If you can kind of seamlessly do 12 yes. reps of each weight three times. And the key is to like, you know, women, we have used the same five or 10 pound dumbbells our entire life. And we <laughs> just think that we're gonna, you know, get this toned look that a lot of people are, are going for. Yeah. And you have to keep increasing in order for that muscle to be built. To be built. So yeah. how much do you, sorry, how much do you do? Well, I do 20 pounds for biceps. Okay. I mean, I can squat 130 pounds. Oh my gosh, wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so the, the point is that women are, way stronger than yeah. they think they are. And weightlifting doesn't make you huge and jacked. Um, no, that takes years. Exactly. I mean, we, yeah, nobody can really do that for, um, you know, years and years to get that whole bulky look. Right. I mean, if you are not like cutting fat and you decide that you want to do heavy lifting, well, of course you're going to seem a little bit bulkier, mm -hmm. right? But it actually compacts you. I mean, since my whole journey, you know, years ago, I've lost inches and inches, mm -hmm. but has has gained so much strength. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yeah, and we actually have a couple before and after pictures. Look at this. Wow. I mean, you know, and you say you eat more now than you did before. Wow. Yeah, that picture right there. I, you know, weigh seven more pounds now. Yeah. yeah. But you look mm -hmm. ten pounds mm -hmm. less. We and I have three inches off of my waist and weigh seven pounds more. Wow. So that's how muscle works. Right. Right. Wow. Really quickly, we have like 30 seconds mm -hmm. left. You touched on, on protein. Talk about the importance of that because... So if we are putting in this time, we are all busy women, if we are putting in this time to do strength training and we're not eating the adequate amount of protein, you're never going to get that toned muscle. Mm -hmm. So again, the way muscle is built, we break it down, we feed it with protein and we rest it. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's okay. where protein comes into the mix and why you hear everybody talking about 
the importance of protein. It's just really science. Yeah. It's science, but it's it's more difficult than it sounds to do on your own. Yeah. So if you are interested, which I definitely am, head to houseofhealthbypamelin.com, learn all about joining one of her programs. She has a few different ones, and catch more of her tips by following her on Instagram as well.